You, you also have in this the point uh, drains in this series as well that I talked about, and that comes again in three, a square, a wavy, and a tile in. And then um, it, they all have a two-inch outlet. We also sell strainer baskets for them as well as in the premium version uh, also. To go back to the premium, I wanted to... Where are we? It was something else we do in the premium is we offer LED lights. These are color-changing lights. They'll change colors. Uh, I'm looking... Okay, here we go. And move this on me. These are the different grates that are available in the stainless. So you have um, you have a, what we call a flag, then the Hawaii style, mixed style, quattro, wave, tile inversion, and then a linear. In the old rope bronze, you don't you only have six. You don't have this linear. So those you can cruise around the website and see the different um, styles that are available, as you see here. So more of an offering there um, than you have in the in the point series or uh, or the plus series. I'm sorry. Um, then you're doing the premium has more than plus, but uh, obviously different price points. To give you an example, price point wise, the premium. It's about $150, 100, 130 to 150 depending on the grade, per linear foot. Okay, by the time you take the channel, the grate, and the adapter to use that the plumber needs to use to put in the floor, by the time you put all those three things together, between $125 to $150, we'll say, um, per linear foot. The um, Plus, the four foot, the 48 inch, is 100 and I think it's like $159 total all in. So you can see the price difference there. They're not exactly the same product, but it works. So where the premium, this is a stainless steel body. This here is an ABS plastic. It's also not as wide, but your water flow um, capture is pretty similar, even though it's not as wide. Uh, you, you have to almost double the width to increase um, the amount of gallons per minute drain wise um, by only fifty percent, by only forty percent. So you would have to go grow the size of it a hundred percent to only increase water flow forty percent. So there's not a lot of difference between the the two as far as water flow, not even a gallon difference. Okay, so those are the the two two different series, and then each series has the point drain uh, as we were looking at. So the question becomes: Why do we want to use linear drains versus um, just our standard old-fashioned three or four-inch uh, round drain uh, in the floor? So this is standard, and this is linear. So remember we talked about the tile insert? This is a tile insert version. So you can see you have a very small line here. So you have people that are looking for that minimalistic look. This is definitely the way to go. Now everything flows together and only have between an eighth and a quarter inch gap, depending on the series, in that where the water is going to go and go into the channel and drain out. So much, much different look, number one. Cleaner, much different. The other thing that it allows us to do is, if you look at this picture closely, this is technically, this is outside the shower. So the whole bathroom in this scenario is made up of this same tile all the way throughout the bathroom. In a any time you have a point drain that is like this, that means that from each one of these corners, just like in this picture, from here, 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 and here, they all have to point back to the stream. 
So that means I have basically four angles that I have to do. So what has to happen is, is I can't take a tile, like these tiles here, they look like they're probably to 18 by 36 or, or so. I mean, they're huge tiles. I can't take that tile and put it in this application because it can't be in the tile. So I would have, the only way to do it, and I've seen this done before and it looks horrible, is to take that big tile and cut it into sections and then try to butt it back up but allow it to slope. It's a horrible way to do it, but I've seen it done before. Or what you have to do is do what is most common up until recently, is we go to a different size tile when we get inside the shower. So you've seen designers coming up with, if you look at some of these photos that are here, that's coming up with creative ways to, to change. So you see how this tile on the wall and everywhere else is on the floor? Um, but we can't put that in the shower because we can't get, we can't bend the tile. So what we would have to do is, is we, we have to change this to a different style, size, uh, what most people in the tile business will tell you too is trying to find a four or six inch tile that matches this tile is almost impossible. That's why you see contrast here and you don't see the same thing on the floor because they don't they don't exist. So designers have had to come up with different creative ways to be able to do that. So the the best way for the for, to do that is to use a linear drain, then everything slopes one way, okay? So if we go back to here and we uh, we look at our gallery, here's the same thing. Floor tiles, all the same size, inside, outside the shower. But now everything is just flowing here, same thing, floor same inside, outside the shower, inside, outside the shower. So, but everything is flowing toward that one way, toward that drain. So it's a, it's a, lot, a smaller slope to get the water to move than it is in a four-way. So it's not like when you walk into the shower, you're going to feel like you're sliding toward one end. It's a gentle slope. But it's also you're not going to be standing in the middle of the shower in a little bit of water because the three-inch round drain can't drain the water fast enough. Okay, so much cleaner look, much different uh, style than what the um, center or point drains allow us to do.